What is the best time to trade Forex? It's actually not a straightforward answer. I'll show you why in this video. All right, the first thing you should know is that there is no one best time for everyone to trade. Whenever somebody says, oh, this is the best time to trade, what they're really saying is, this is the best time for me. And that's what works for their personality, their trading style, and their lifestyle. So what I really care about and what I help people with is figuring out what works best for the individual trader. So when you're talking about when should you trade, what's the best time to trade, you should consider three things. The time of the day, the day of the week, and the day of the month. So let's take a look at how this works. Okay, so if you're new to trading, Forex is a little bit different from the stock market or futures markets in that it trades 24 hours a day for most of the week. So during that time, different markets open and close during the day. So you're gonna start off with Sydney opening at 2 p.m. Uh, Pacific, and then you get into Tokyo, then London, and then New York. Those are the major markets that open where most of the Forex trading is done. So if you go to a uh, chart like this, like Oanda has this um, Forex market hours chart, you can see when these markets open in your local time. And you can also see the volume that happens during these trading sessions. So if I put my mouse here, I can see my local time and then just be sure that this time zone is set to your local time zone. And uh, for me, the trading day starts at 2 p.m. Pacific time. And then Tokyo opens here around 5 p.m. And then London will open uh, around mid at midnight. So when we look at the volume, Sydney and Tokyo have the lowest volume numbers here, as you can see on the graph. Then when London opens, you get a nice spike of volume. And then when there's the London and New York overlap, that's when you have the most volume during the trading day. So most people will tell you that the best time to trade is at the London open or during the London, New York overlap. And this is for a good reason because there's a lot of volume and when there's a lot of volume price tends to continue in one direction however keep in mind that that's not the only way to trade right not everybody is looking for a strong move in one direction if you're a regression to the mean trader then you're actually looking for price not to break out and keep going you want it to break out and come back so that's when you might be looking for lower volume time periods to trade and that might be more advantageous for that trading style on top of that the london open or the new york open might not happen at a time that's convenient in your time zone for example, I'm in the Pacific time zone, and that's probably the worst time zone to trade Forex because uh, London opens at midnight and then New York doesn't open until, uh, like it says here, 5 a.m. So that's really a tough time to trade. So I prefer to catch the London open, trade that for a little while, uh, put my orders in. And generally when I can catch a move at London open and I have the direction picked correctly, then that tends to carry over into the New York session. And not always, obviously, but that's what works for me. So if that's a little hard to conceptualize, you can also look at a chart, say the one hour chart, and you can put in period separators. Uh, on TradingView, the period separators start at uh, 2 p.m. Pacific, and that's the open of Sydney. Uh, so that's the start of the trading day. And as you look at the chart, you can see that, generally speaking, the big moves tend to happen um, after London, and a lot of them happen during the London and New York overlap. So on this chart, I have marked uh, the first couple hours of London with this uh, gray shading here. And as you can see, right here, you had a big move uh, during London. Right here was a big move during London Open. Uh, right here was another big move during London Open. Uh, this didn't have too much action there, but obviously that's not going to happen all the time. right? And then this was another uh, major move that happened during the London Open. So when you're taking your trades, be aware of which major market is currently open and if it's a low volume period or a high volume period. But if you're in a high volume period and you pick your entry point correctly, then price could keep going in your favor. So that's why it's really important to understand the time of day when you're trading Forex. All right, now let's talk about days of the week. Generally speaking, from the open on Sunday to the open of the London session on Monday is gonna be a really slow period. Traders are still coming back from the weekend. There isn't gonna be a whole lot of volume in there. And on the whole, you're gonna see price actually go against what the uh, trend of the week could be. So it's not always the best time of uh, the week to trade. However, if you do know that there is gonna be a retracement during that period, then you could take advantage of that possibly. It all depends on your trading strategy, what you've tested, and what works for you. Now, a similar thing also happens on Friday where volume dries up, people are closing shop for the weekend, and price can kind of range around sometimes or have these jerky moves or go against the trend that happened that week. So in general, I stay out of the market on Friday, 
but other traders do benefit from that move. And I know entire trading systems that are built around that Friday move. So again, it helps to look at your trading stats at your trading journal and take a look at the day of the week. Is there any correlation between your losses and the day of the week that you open the trade? And you just might discover that if you open a trade early in the week or late in the week, then you tend to lose. And taking a trade on Friday and leaving it over the weekend can also be a risky thing to do because there's a lot of uncertainty, a lot of events that could happen during the weekend. And then you have that slow period on Sunday and Monday. So it's a double whammy and some traders just choose to close out but other traders might choose to keep it open if they're trading on longer term charts. And finally, you should consider the day of the month. At the end of the month, a lot of big hedge funds and banks uh, close up their books. They tend to settle a lot of positions and that can lead to some choppy price action. So generally speaking, if you're not too sure about your positions or you're looking to get into new trades, you should probably wait until after the end of the month. So that's everything you need to know about the best time of day to trade Forex. Remember that this is very individual to each trader and it depends on your time zone, your trading style, and your lifestyle. If this video helped you, a thumbs up is always appreciated. And if you wanna get more Forex trading tutorials like this, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to get updates. Thanks for watching.